Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back with an, with the continuation of my how to make a social network series. And yeah, sorry, I've been not, I've not been making um, videos for a, quite a long time. Yeah, but I'm back and let's go. First, I already ha I already have exam running right here with my SQL and Apache, I guess. Yep. Yeah. No, we're gonna open up Notepad, and this time I'm explaining you in a slightly different way. I am not gonna write the code in front of you guys. I'm just gonna explain this whole code right here because it's gonna take quite a long time to ex uh, to write the code in front of you guys and then even explain it. So I'll just um, like sort of um, explain it to you. And I've made changes in the index.php page right here. For um, uh, I've removed the table to make it more simple. And yeah, you guys don't need to write the code. No, pause the video right here and write the code because I'll be uploading it onto the web. Now let's continue. First, I'll just comment this out. I'll explain it to you later. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now let's save this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now first, I'll just open up the web page actually. I want to do it quite quick because uh, I did the same uh, tutorial just r again and right now it was of 17 minutes I don't want it that long because it will take like a day or two for me to upload the video because I have to first compress it and then a lot of stuff actually so this is the uh, login page just log in I have oops okay line 5 what the heck interesting there yep that should fix it Continue. yeah there we have it now um i'm uh, this is a message that will pop out but uh, it'll take us to member.php which we'll be creating later i've not created it yet of course um and the link for this source code source code will be in the description below so if you guys already have quite a good knowledge of php and you don't want explanation you just straight away want to download the source code and just grasp the concept right there you can go ahead and do that now over here we have if dollar username and password our previous uh, classic check for checking whether they had uh, they have entered both of them and if that's false then we're gonna give an error saying die uh, in, in red color please enter your username and a password and then click here to go to the login page so that's a link back so if I don't enter one of these and I just say login please enter your username and a password and yeah so that's basically it this username and the variable we had said before and if we hadn't then set it right now okay and yeah or here uh, this str to lower function right what it does is if suppose i entered a username saying as and a capital d this won't be found in the database so what we want is uh, we, we wanted to strip it to a lower uh, uh, the lower um case and then we will we'll go for the checks and this trim function i explained it to you before it removes the spaces from the left and the right and yeah okay dollar con we're creating a, con a variable for connection and that's gonna be mysql underscore connect of course i explained this to you before localhost root and no password then mysql select db uh, this is for selecting our database which is sources it corresponds to the database name in php my admin Right. Oh, come on. Yep. Yeah, this is taking quite some time. Sources. Yeah, this source is right here. So that corresponds with that. And I'm doing this in a hurry because, you know, I don't want it to be damn long and it will take a lot of time to upload. And then we're creating a query. And that's mysql underscore query select stars. That means select everything from users. That means from the table users right here. Users. Where username equals dollar username. So we are, we are selecting everything with uh, the username field. In here we have the username field. This username field is equal to 
the dollar username and next what we have is um uh, dollar num rows that means the number of rows uh, we we need to find whether this user the username that they uh, entered actually exists so we'll find the number of rows uh, uh, th this uh, uh, number of rows for uh, this match number of rows where uh, username equals dollar username uh, and if it's uh, less uh, if it's not one that means zero then it'll just return an error that this uh, username does not exist R see or here we have uh, if num rows does not equal zero then you do this if it equals zero then just say that user doesn't exist however there cannot be uh, num rows equals two because we'll be having a check in the uh, register.php for uh, doing that but register.php comes very far from now so this is mysql underscore num underscore rows it'll find it using a variable the variable uh, like using a string and that string is this so basically uh, it'll just uh, f uh, find that if you don't get what I, I tried to explain just go to php.net php.net and then search for uh, mysql num rows you'll get it I bet then if num rows does not equal zero that means if the username exists then have a while loop saying dollar row so while loop is gonna keep repeating until it uh, returns this as false until this is no more found that means until no more rows uh, have uh, uh, this uh, uh, dollar query and we, what we want is uh, it uh, mysql underscore fetch associative that means it's gonna f uh, keep fetching um, data until there's no more data remaining from this query uh, if any of the f uh, if there's anything that you don't understand go and check out php.net yeah so my uh, so it's basically gonna do that it's gonna query and find that out what uh, so uh, and that that's gonna set our DB username we need to find a, a username in the database well, it's, it needs to match dollar row username that means it needs to match like how do I ask? yeah we're creating dollar DB username we're creating uh, a variable known as db username and that's going to equal to dollar row username uh, because mysql underscore fetch associative brings all the data in an array this username value right here it corresponds to the mysql field username yeah and uh, the same in the password it corresponds with the password field here and that's dollar db password equals dollar row the same thing and if username equals dollar db username so we're searching for a place where uh, dollar username where the username entered is going to equal db username and the password is e going to equal the password that you entered then we're going to carry out uh, this part right here otherwise we're just going to say wrong pa password and username combination and click here to go back to the login page now over here what we want to do is we, we're going to set a session uh, uh, named username uh, with the uh, value of dollar username db username now i'll explain to you set uh, explain sessions to you in mem uh, when we get to member.php because you won't get it right now and yeah this header function what it basically does is um uh, it redirects you automatically without giving you any warning or anything uh, and i have put this just to show you that it shows this your in message right here as you saw like oops dsa yeah this your i'll just save the password yeah you're in just to show that to you guys i commented this out but uh it, even in the uploaded source code file uh, this comment is there so just remove that comment and uh, like if uh, and this is their echo echo like you're in if, uh, if the brow if the browser of the user does not support header it's just gonna spit this out and for while loop i'll be explaining it to you in the next video I know most of you guys haven't understood the while loop. You can just simply go to php.net and check out the while loop. Well, that's all for today. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for the support you all gave me.